Hello everyone, this is Janet from Mixed Media Mama. Thank you very much for coming back and, and sitting and watching the video. I am so excited to share this beautiful little book with you. It is hashtag creep on June. Tracy Fox, the lovely Tracy Fox, has designed a Halloween kit. And me being on her creative design team, I said, of course, but not just me. It looks like everyone on the team, plus, there's quite a few plus to fill in every day of this month. You are going to be seeing videos and or Instagram on her on their, excuse me, on their videos. Now, I will have all of the information down below. All you have to do is click on a calendar. It goes to the appropriate day. You click on the day and it goes to right to the person who is doing their little beautification project of the fabulous kit of that Tracy had made. I am in love. Once again, I am in love. But this kit doesn't just go with itself. It goes with every single one. Now, it is very similar to her compendium, her dark compendium four, I believe, or maybe it's compendium dark four, but it's an MK4. And not only does it go with that but man I think I have found probably six other kits that it goes with and I'm still searching so I will put all of that information below but let's get to the juicy stuff here look at this isn't that just lovely I did print the outside cover on a really heavyweight cardstock just to give it a little bit more tooth but I wanted to show you that this is actually, the kit is about, all about matchboxes. And so on each page that you print, it will be a matchbox box. And then it will be the cover that you will wrap around the matchbox. So you can slide the box into the cover. Well, me being Janet fashion, I did not do that because that was too easy. <laughs> oh, so I printed the cover on heavyweight, hard, uh, 126, I believe, 126 weight um, presentation paper, double-sided. I did pr print on the inside. And there is a little booklet. I'm just gonna slip that off. I'm going to show you what I did here so you understand. So you can see the matchbox there. You can see that here is the actual matchbox that you would fold all of those pieces in everything. But I left it and I made it into a flap. And this is this is the cover of the journal. Okay? So this piece right here in the kit you will receive a sheet of doors a page that has all beautiful beautiful doors and i printed that off i just thought that was so pretty and then this little beautiful girl uh, lady she is from the family snaps kit and then I added the bat wings, and I use that shiny is mica tile. You can get that on Amazon or your local store if they do not have it. It is just wonderful. Mica is a rock, and um, I just absolutely love it. A little bit of fiber underneath there, and you can when I open it up. Because of the door being there, it gave it a nice little tuck spot right there. So I just added one of Tracy's tags. 
the little ghostal label. Ghostal labels are from her, I think, last year's Halloween kit. You can get those also on her Etsy Love Junk Journals. Added the little owl, some film strip, and that's just on the inside flap. On the other flap, I wanted to show, let me, that might be too much glare. I wanted to show, I used a film strip, and this film, um, excuse me, that, that's not correct. It's a specimen slide. Um, a couple of videos ago, I had showed how to make a master board, and then I cut all of those, the master boards up into things that I needed. Well, the master board was all filled with scraps. And so this is the specimen slide, and this is just a half of a specimen slide. I used, and then I just added a bug and some flowers. I fussy cutted the flowers. And behind there, if you can really see, it's called Transylvania. I love that. Love, 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 love that. Be afraid. So anyway, that is. And then on the back side, I just made a pocket. I took another part of the the co another cover, I want to say, and I just cut it up. Took a tag and put the tag and just put all kinds of different little things from the kit as as uh, you know. Just little tuck spots. I love the little tags. And this, I believe, is from a tattered paper set. No, no, no. This was from the crime case book. That's right. This was this tag was from the crime case book, I believe. I don't know. After a while, I just get into using, and of course, I double printed it. I just loved, love her digitals. Just had a nice little, isn't that so cute? And I really did not, usually I, I really kind of go out of my way to add details. There's just so many details I didn't want to add too much. This little fringe right here, it is a fringe. And I'll tell you what, and I'm going to kind of show you. I had purchased a Tim Holtz piece of fabric. And there's that fringe. I just put a piece of that fringe because I thought that was so you know what oh, yeah it's another another example of why we don't throw things away oh I am truly showing my colors here but you can see how this beautiful and I just added her tickets admit one from the kit isn't that just the cutest And here's the little book. And how this was made was by the, it looked like library card envelopes that she had printed. I just ex printed it really wide and really big. And I used some of those. This front portion is a small, smaller version of this. I just used this as a front cover as you can see so that is the i just and she has some 13s in there let that hang you'll see where that comes from on the inside there's some more fringe i had recently purchased tim holtz uh crackle edge or torn edge uh cutter it was an 8 by, I don't know, 8 by 10 cutter. Love it. Really good purchase. I highly recommend. Now this right here, I just, on the background, let me, let me go from the background out. The background is just bits of ephemera from Tracy's kit. Um, that was a part of the door, this piece. Let me get a pokey thing so I can actually show you here. 
This piece right here is a, my printer was having a problem. It was really not having a good day. Um, and I just used that. That was part of, from part of a door. It's, it's literally half of a door. And it was a reduced down. This piece was just one of the circles. And this lovely thing, you know, I drink tea. So I had seen from, I believe, uh, Shabby Soul, Shabby Souls on uh, YouTube. She is a design team member for Tim Holtz. Or she's a maker, excuse me. She is a maker for Tim Holtz. She is just, so she. Put, I put one of Tracy's uh, family snaps in there and I loved those edges and I basically I just took a glue stick put it over the top of the picture you can kind of see the picture right there and very carefully slid it in there and put it down and it just really gave it a nice little little look I just really love that and of course Friday the 13th or her label from a kit, from her kit. And this was a just an old paper frame. Just I just added. I thought that was really lovely. I did not do much to this. This was another part of uh, another cover. A matchbox cover. I just cut it down to fit. All right. On this side, we're going to go on to this side. On this side, I just took some old rem, you know, old scraps, uh, put a little bit of fiber, some cheesecloth on, and a label zigzagged on it. So it can become a tuck spot. And then it's going to be just a, a flip out, basically. I'm going to bring it up. You, as you can see, there is a piece of mica right here. And it goes under the full portion. I'm going to flip it up so you can see. Otherwise, it kind of gets kind of confusing because there's so many visual. You can see the specimen slide. And the piece of fiber. And the lovely butterfly that Tracy provides. Isn't that so pretty? I used Seth Apter's Vintage Beeswax just to give it that eerie, f luscious look. And really, it really darkened it, which was perfect for this. I just thought that turned out really like that. So that is a flip. So it opens to one of those really nice um, envelopes. And in there... grab just the one is a nice little tag I used two pieces here easy and just mounted it and slips it right back into that little beautiful I just love how she and I did not do much you know much decorating because a little tiny film strip one of her labels from the kit and some other and this was from a piece of paper from one of her kits. Can't remember which compendium. Oh, okay, on the middle panel, there again, it was an envelope. I just used one part of it, added a little bit of extra, and turned it upside down as an upside down tuck. I love doing that because it just gives it a different visual. And using that little part out of a one of her little envelopes like this but and then it added a scrap all right watch how i'm doing that there and on this page the background is her paper added a embossed frame if you can kind of see I think you can added another little frame and this little frame die is from Elizabeth Craft Design I will try to remember to put that down 
and one of Tracy's family snaps. I I, I think that he would be Bur Mr. Burdock for Burdock blood bitters. He would, don't you think he would be a good Mr. Burdock? I think he would be. And some fiber behind all of that. Then on the other side of this, I just made it into a nice tuck spot. This is a label off of her Ghostal labels. And you can kind of see my, at that time, I, I thought that would, that image was just so, so pretty. But you can kind of see my uh, printer was having, not having a good day that day. But I put it in anyway. Life is way too, is not, is not perfect. Why should my work be perfect? We are all imperfect. So that fits perfect. And then the last... I just took one of those envelopes and it's really cute. I just kind of collaged on it. Put a little piece of mica, you can see. Nice little label in there. I made that as a, a little tuck spot, one of her labels. And then on the inside, Is a little tuck spot. If you dare open it up. I love Tracy how you incorporate ugly bugs. They are just beautiful to me. Beautiful, beautiful. There we go. And that just shuts close. So how you open this open that one this one that one see all of that close that flip that over and there you have it it's just putting you just keep putting flips and flaps that's really what it comes down to and there is your little booklet that to cover that isn't that just, that worked out really well. Thank you so much, Tracy. I so appreciate it. This is fun. And I cannot wait until the 26th so when you of June. So when you can come back and see my next project. I have a prototype. I've been working on that. And I cannot wait. It's going to be so much fun. Thanks again. Like and subscribe. And see you tomorrow. Bye.